Hey, good morning. First one I see, Rosa. Lovely to see you. Uh, okay, today's training. I'm glad you're looking forward to today's training. Me too. Um, it's been a heck of a week. A weekend, I should say. Long weekend. I want you to know that I personally, uh, along with a couple of dear uh, helpers and friends that came over and helped, we drilled over 750 uh, of the metal poles this weekend. Good morning, Kirk. How are you? Hope you had a great weekend. Um, so we did, we uh, spent probably, I'd say 18 hours. Good morning to me. Um, and so, um, yeah, we drilled over. So I, I see messages that are coming up here. So I'm trying to respond as they come up as well. But we did over 750 of the metal poles. So if anybody out there is watching this for the first time and needs metal poles, we bring them in, we drill them, we wipe, we wash every single one down, make sure they're clean, wipe them down, disinfect them. So um, it was a long weekend, probably of about uh, 16 hours work this weekend doing that. But again, we wanna make sure everyone's safe. Diana, good to meet you, or not meet you, good to see you here, good morning. And uh, I'm glad you're here too, thanks for being here. So um, today's workout we know on Tuesdays, are much more about uh, going back to the basics. As much as we want to advance and go intermediate and advance, we want to get uh, faster and, and stronger, most of our movement, I'd say about 95% of our movement in life is just the basics, it's just walking, it's just going up and down stairs. So there's times to push, but there's also times to go back and work just on the basics, which is really what life demands. And then having that extra little bit of training just to be dynamic in those moments that you're gonna need it, whether it's an adventure that you wanna go and do, or whether it's that moment of saving you from a fall. So um, we're gonna go back to the basics today. You're gonna to find today's workout very simple very uh, much slower, much more about the feeling. But I wanted to address today in the talk, um, I connected with a couple of people this weekend. Uh, a lot of the times it's Facebook messages that come from uh, you guys that reach out to me. And as most of you will know, I do respond to as many as I possibly can. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Ronaldo, uh, fantastic interaction. To be honest, I didn't know whether he was being serious when we first connected because he seemed to be doubting the 60 up balance board. And I thought it was somebody who was just pushing back about the validity of it. But the more I got to talk to him, and it's a great lesson in really listening to what people are saying. Uh, Ronaldo lives in a lot of fear. He's a, a large gentleman, he's six foot three. And uh, I love his education. He got his uh, degrees down in uh, some very reputable universities. So to cut to the chase, uh, he lives in a lot of fear. He's scared to step out and actually try the balance board because he's had some big falls. And as a large guy, when you go down, you go down hard and he's living in that fear. And I look at fear as an acronym for falsely existing against reality. The F-E-A-R, falsely existing against reality. Think about all the things we've been fearful in life. Probably 99% of them we exaggerated in our minds the reality of how bad they're really gonna be. And so I think it's really important that we look at what our fears are and what the reality is. And to have, or to let go of the fear, you can't just say, I'm just gonna jump in without thinking about it. You have to go out and you have to research and you have to gain knowledge. And then you have to take that knowledge and create it for yourself so that you can safely go through the processes where you get a starting point and you begin to progress rather than the fear that stops you from being able to um, advance, to, to take that first step. And as long as the first step is smart, safe, well thought out, educated, and you go at a pace that you can control, there's nothing really to fear in life. So the second person that I wanted to talk to, and I could go down it, is Nancy. Because Nancy left a message this weekend um, and I don't like using the H word, but she said she hated the board. And when I first read the message, I'm like, what's she talking about? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. But she said it was because she struggles with it. She hates taking her medication. She hates taking all these different, um, you know, the physical therapy she has to do. And it got me thinking a lot. Uh, I don't know if you've ever gone on YouTube and watched those love hate challenges where they'll take a plant and they'll, or plant, and they'll, you know, put it two seeds in the same soil, but next to each other. And one they give love and one they, they abuse and they're in the same sunlight, same watering, same soil. And the one they give love to and talk to beautifully flourishes and grows into a beautiful plant. And the one that they put down, the one that they hate, the one that they dislike so much 
um, never fulfills its potential. In fact, it dies much quicker. So my message here is to make sure that you give yourself love. As you go through the struggle, embrace the challenge. See, a lot of people just float through life, and that's really nice. Sometimes I go, I wish I wasn't always challenging myself because it can get tiring, but at the same time, create that challenge. Create the love of the challenge because when you overcome it, it's so much better. And if you love the challenge, you'll overcome it faster than if you hate the challenge. So I get exactly what you were saying, Nancy. I totally understand what you're saying. Let's turn it around and embrace the journey back to success because if you don't have a mountain to climb, how can you have a better horizon? It's just gonna stay the same as you see now. The higher you get, the more beautiful the view. So keep that one going. Uh, last thing I'm gonna say in here is uh, Vicky. Um, every now and again, I get little tips that come through from uh, who I consider our 60 Up family. And Vicky, I know you're a mental health counselor. Thank you so much for the work you do because so many people are struggling nowadays. And I know that you love doing what you're doing because you're helping people. Uh, but at the same time, she said that her, her poles were squeaking a little bit. There was kind of an uh, annoying squeak in there. So she put a little WD-40 into where the poles go into the board. I don't know, and I, I'm not saying go and do it because I've never done that. But I want to pass on little tips because if anybody is experiencing that, and she said now it works great, there's not that rubbing noise going on, I want to pass that on to anyone. Anyway, with that being said, it's time to get to the workout. I'm going to uh, get my gloves on and see if I don't kick the camera today. Oh, I just kicked the camera. Okay, my gloves go on. Again, I said the reason I love these gloves is they help the, the hand grip the pole so you don't get tired with your hands. And because they're like a neoprene and a Velcro slide, it stops my hands from swelling from working out and holding on. Okay, so here we go today. Nice, simple workout, and we are finishing, by the way, with uh, getting down on the ground and getting back up on the ground. So the first thing I want you to do is just step tapping side to side. Now, for some of you guys that have come a long way, uh, this will seem very simple for you, but I do know that there's people out there that even doing this movement is a little bit nerve-wracking because they prefer to be sitting down. So that's why we just start off on Tuesdays with a nice, easy just step side to side and again you'll notice the board if you begin to fall you can push on that board and it's going to hold you back up to stop you going down to help you recover and find your center okay let's go on to tapping on the board just nice and easy now i want you to go slow today the reason i want you to go slow is it helps with your control of your muscles doing exactly what you want them to do if i rush through it i don't know how much control i've got so just nice and easy tapping there you go, eyes up. Now, let's continue on the work that we had on Friday. Bring those shoulders back. Feel your upper back muscles between your shoulder blades tightening up so your shoulders go back and stand tall. As I like to say with Richard Glaston, who's my uh, ballet teacher back in England, pull up from the center so that you take the weight off of your spine and you align yourself down the center rather than hunching over and putting extra pressure on your lower back and rounding your shoulders. Okay, good. Now what I want you to do is now step your heel and just tap the heel. There you go. I believe John the other day was saying he was having a hard time tapping with his toes. So we're gonna work a little bit today on the motion of uh, moving the flexibility in your ankles. And it may be a slow process for some of you, but I want you to be thinking about the flexibility of your ankles today as well. Good. Stop here, just shake those legs out. Good, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the heel and just put the foot on the board. Bring the heel back up, I'm sorry, the toe back up and change feet. So we go heel, toe, heel, bring it back. Again, we're looking at the flexibility of the ankle. Heel, toe, heel, bring it back up. Heel, toe, heel, bring it back up. Last two. Heel, toe, heel, bring it back up. Heel, toe, heel, bring it back up. Now we're going to advance this. Heel, toe, lift the heel. So if I look from the side, you go here, here, lift, here, here, and down. So don't put your feet too far forward, but I go heel, toe, a uh, flat, 
toe, flat, heel, bring it back down. I'll do it side on. You go heel, flat, toe, flat, heel, bring it back down. Let's go again. Heel, flat, toe, flat, heel, back down, and again. Heel, flat, toe, flat, heel, bring it back down. Now the beautiful thing, and then keep it going, go heel. What we're doing in here is the leg that you're standing on is getting more and more powerful because you're taking longer to bring the other foot back down, which means the leg you're standing on is getting used to strengthening and being more in control on one leg than you would be if you were standing on two. There you go, and bring it back down, good. Just shake those legs out. Now what I want you to do is just put your fingers on top of the poles if you feel good and you know, if you feel safe. If not, hold on, just do your thumbs so you can grab. What I want you to do is just from here, a little knee bend and stand. And knee bend and stand. As you do the knee bend, make sure your butt is going to the back. So it's just a little bit in here. All I want to do is start warming up those thigh muscles because we got some work today because I want to strengthen up your ability to go up and down stairs or get out of a chair with confidence. Now, as you stand up, pull those shoulders back. I lean my shoulders forward, I pull my shoulders back. I bend my shoulders forward, I bring my shoulders back. Last one, bend and shoulders back. Good, let's go into some little butt kickers. Again, just to loosen those thigh muscles up. And again, if you need to stop and get water, please get water, it's critical. If you begin to even begin to feel thirsty, stop and get your water and come back and join in. Okay, here we go. The next one we're gonna do now, we're gonna do the same thing we were doing before, but now the board is gonna to touch the ground. So I put my heel on number two. Oops, I lost my balance. Heel on number two, I go flat. I push down on the board. I stand up and go up on my toe. I come flat, I step back. I bring my toe up and I bring it down. Let's go again on the right foot. So the board doesn't touch the ground to begin with. I go heel, I go toe, I push the board, sorry, flat, I push the board, I step up on my toe, I go flat, I step back, I bring my foot down. Let's go to the, to the left side. So I put my heel towards number two, I go flat. Now I push the board down, I step up and go up on my toe, I come back down to flat, put my foot behind, bring the toe up, and bring it back to the ground. So let's do it again on the right side. Heel, flat, push, lift, flat, step, toe up, back to the ground. Let's go to the left side. Heel, flat, push, up on your toe, back to flat, step back, Bring the toe up and go back down. Let's go see if we can go just a little faster so it's more of a real movement. So it's heel, toe, push, up, flat, back, toe comes up, down. Let's go to the left side. Heel, flat, push, toe, flat, back, heel, down. And again. So heel, flat, push, up, flat, pull the toe up and back, left side. Heel, toe, I mean flat, push, toe, flat, back. Last time each side. So we're gonna roll the foot, we roll up, we roll back, and we take off the other side. So it's just roll, flat, roll, back, roll, and down. Good, so a great little exercise to practice just to again, get the ankle used to that flexibility of changing position. Okay, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do the V-step. So we go two, back. Good, so we go one, two, three, four. One, lift the ankle, three, four. So we go here, kick back. And when I say kick back, you're bending your knee. So it's here. So again, we begin to work the hamstring as well as loosening the thigh. Now we're gonna change this up a little bit and it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, challenge going in here. Again, even though it's simple, I just want you to, again, start getting foot combinations last time going across, good. So now what I want you to do is now take your right foot, step it across, it's one, 
two, three step. One, lift, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one. Good, rest here. So now we're gonna combine it, right foot. You go right, left, right, left. Then we cross over, right, lift, back, back. Then we go to the left. We're gonna do the right one more time so you get it. We step into a step, step, and back. Now cross your right foot. One, two, three, four. One more time on the right. Step two, two, back. Now cross your right foot over. One, two, three, four. Now let's go on the left hand side. Are you ready? We go left foot two, rock, back. Now left foot crosses over. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna go left foot again. One, two, three. Now cross the left foot over. One, two, three, four. One more time on the left. Are you ready? Two, right, two, step back, step back. Now cross over, lift, back and back. Now, this is where the challenge comes in. I'm gonna shake my hands out. In fact, I'm gonna get a quick little bit of water. Hang on. Okay, without slowing down too much, we're now gonna go right, right, left, left. So watch how this works, or I'll go slow, so actually join in, don't watch. We go back to the right foot, two, two, back, back, cross the right foot over, one, two, three, four. Now start with the left foot. Left, left, right, uh, left, back, now cross over. One, two, three, four. Now go to the right foot. One, two, three, now cross. One, two, three, now left foot. One, two, now cross over. One, two, three, four. Now right foot again. Wide, wide, back, now cross. One, two, three, four. Left foot. One, two, back, back. Left across. Two, three, four. Good. So it's kind of like a little bit of a dancing step where you could be just doing your little steps and then suddenly you're crossing over and stepping back into here again as well. By the way, I had a challenge to possibly, from my Starlight Express days, to uh, do the whole workout on skates. So we'll talk about that on Friday. Come back to Friday's class and we'll talk about it. Here we go, one more time. Now muscle memory, I stop because I want you to forget what we're doing. Now can you quickly get back in again and go. So right foot, wide, wide, back, back, cross over. Three, two, one, and wide, wide, back. Now cross over, one, two, three, four. Left foot, one, two, three. Now left foot cross over, one, two, and again, right foot, one, two, three, cross over, one, two, three, four, and left foot, one, two, three, four, cross over, one, two, three, four, good. Shake those hands out. It's a nice little uh, challenge doing those exercises because you're changing your foot pattern, which means your balance has to constantly be changing. See, if I step up here, my weight is right down my right side, so I pulled my center across. As soon as I step over, my weights change the pressure on the leg because now I've got to pull my weight center back this way slightly. So you're challenging your balance, which is fantastic. Okay, next one we're gonna do, step up on two and two and just rock. Now, for some of you guys that are advanced in here, you'll look at this and go, oh, this is so simple, but think back to when you first started. And for some of you who are new here, then I want you to also at the same time Think about, you know, this might not be so safe and so comfortable, but everyone's gone through it. No different than your first day at school, and you went to school, and the first day you were nervous, remember all those years ago? And by the second week, it's like regular, it's just normal. And that's the same here. It's nervous to begin with, but once you get the comfort level and you trust yourself, then you begin to get to the point where um, you've already improved, you've got rid of the fear that we talked about, and your body is getting used to changes in balance and center of, of, your, um, center of your stance. Okay, here what I want you to do now, come and find your balance. We're going on to a thigh builder. So there's your balance, it's the first time of the day that we're trying to figure that one out. Now again, stay there. As I do this one, we're going to do a little squat, butt goes out, and you sit down as if you're going to sit backwards. So I jump back on, I find my balance, and go into a little squat. We're here, 
and come and stand back up again. And come back, squat, and stand back up. One more time, just to warm up here and stand back up. Good, rock side to side. Now, one of my favorite exercises is, is actually this exercise because what was scary before, the ground was scary, you didn't feel safe and stable. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a test in here where you'll begin to figure out how, how stable the ground is. So rock a little faster. There you go, slow it down. Now step back off the board. And all I want you to do is just move your feet and feel how solid the ground feels. See, when people are, are falling or they're scared of falling, the ground doesn't feel safe. Now just stand still and feel how solid that ground feels and how in control you are that the ground is not controlling you. Let's step back up on the board again. We do the same thing. Just rock in side to side and you're doing great. Good, just that little rock side to side. Good, find your balance. A little bit of peace and quiet. Butt goes out, little squat. One, two, and three. Come back up. Now rock really fast. Going side to side. There you go. Good. Now slow it down. So you're rocking. Good. And step back off the board. And again, just a little march. Good. Find that center. Let go of the board and just feel how solid that ground feels. Even if just a little bit of a knee bend. Feel how you're in control of your body and the ground is there. It's not moving. It's what it is. It's you controlling you. Okay, we're going to step back up. Next exercise. And this is going to be a little bit, uh, again, about building the strength in your thighs. So, just a little rock. There you go. Good. Find the balance. Now we go into five squats, butt goes back. Here we go, one, just small movements, two. And when you come up, I want you to squeeze your butt muscles. So it's bend, squeeze the butt, three, and squeeze the butt, four, keep that balance, and five, good. Now step back off the board, holding onto the poles or putting your fingers on or thumbs, we're gonna go into five squats. So we bend and come up and squeeze, one, and two and three and four and five good and feel how solid and safe you felt on the ground because again you're not fighting the balance of the ground when you're on the board and the wobble you're actually in such a solid and safe position you've got the pressure points coming back to keep you safe and control your body okay we're gonna do one more set step up on here again rock side to side Find your balance. I've got to find my balance. I'll check my feet, make sure they're even. Good, now here we go. Butt goes out, five squats. And one, keep fighting that balance. Two, you'll find a little bit more pressure on the big toe than the little toe. Three, here we go. Four, and last one. Hold that balance and stand up, five. There you go, good, step back off the board, good. Again, take your fingers, take your hands down, put your hands in front or thumbs on ready to grip. And here we go, five squats, butt goes out and stand up, squeeze the butt, one and two and three and four and squeeze that butt, five, good. So we've got one more exercise to do today. And again, this is a beginner's workout, so we don't want to push it too much. And again, feel the exercise. Come and step back up on the board. So now we're going to advance the next exercise, which is fantastic to do. All right, we're going to go into a, a balance. We're now going to go into a little squat. So we go back here. Then we come to stand, and you're going to go up on your toes. Don't lean forward of the poles. Stay upright on your right above your toes, feel that balance and come flat. Let's go again. Go back into a squat, keep that balance. Come back to a center, squeeze the butt. Now holding onto the poles, go up on your toes as high as you can, keeping that balance. Beautiful. Come back down flat. One more time, go into a squat, keep that balance, come squeeze your butt. Get those glute muscles really tight. Now go up on your toes, feeling that balance, and you'll feel your toes 
are doing this as they're finding the adjustment needed in pressure for your balance and come back down, push on the left foot, step off the board. Now, here we go. Exactly the same thing. Find your balance, be nice and safe, feel solid in your body. Butt goes out, you go into a slight squat. You come up, go up on your toes and hold that balance. Keep that butt tight. Good, and come back down. We go again, stick your butt out. So when I was doing ballet class, go back now, squeeze your butt as tight as you can, go up on your toes. My ballet teacher used to say, imagine you have a 20 pound note or a hundred dollar bill between your butt cheeks and I'm gonna try and pull it out, hold on to that, that uh, note as tight as you can. That's how tight you'd have to squeeze your butt. Good, and come down one more time. Butt goes out, go into a uh, squat, come back up, squeeze, hold on to that hundred dollar bill, go up on your toes, hold it, hold it, hold it, keep everything tight, Glute, your glutes, your abs, your core are all tight through here, you're centered, I'm lifting up off of my spine, into here, good, hold, hold, and back down, very good, shake your legs out, good, and all I want you to do now, grab a little bit of water if you need, I'm going to grab a quick bit of water, we're about three quarters of the way through the workout today. Very simple, but so dynamic. Okay, step up on the board again. We're on one and one. Good, all we're gonna do here now is just rock side to side. Now, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, and again, it's been amazing seeing how many people can't join us but go on YouTube later. So welcome to you as well. Everybody's so important and invaluable. We like to do a little bit of cardio. So if you're a beginner, just step on one and one nice and easy. And if you're slightly more advanced, we know that you can pick up your speed. So again, go into that little run. We're only gonna go one minute today. In the advance, we go three, sometimes even more minutes with breaks in between. But again, just nice, easy running in place. And again, feel your foot going through the toe. So if you're going slow, and this could be for John, See if you can get it just a little bit where the toe touches first, and I know it's work. I know with that um, ankle freeze that you've got. Keep going, everybody, if you're going faster. Try and get it so that you're really pushing through the foot as you go. Even if it's flat, try and get that foot, even by bringing your knee forward slightly, get the toe to touch the ground, even if it's a small movement. So we're just going in here. Go, we've got about 20 seconds left. And you guys can say, yeah, Dan, you stopped and you did, you know, some demonstrations. So I haven't been going as long as you. That means you guys had a better workout than me today. You pushed it through. Here we go. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And just put your feet on two and two and just rock. Nice and easy. There you go. Nice and easy. Good, just rock in, bring that heart rate down. I want everyone to know as well, I got uh, told the red shoes look good. The reason that I put the red shoes on is I want you to be able to easily see what's happening to my feet. As an example, I want you to do this. Just turn your heel as we rock. As you push on your right, bring the left heel around. So it's just here. I'm just really swiveling my feet. What this is doing, is helping you adjust your foot position before you balance. It also loosen your hip up just a little bit. And you don't have to be extreme, it doesn't have to be huge. But again, I'm adjusting my foot before I put the pressure on it. I'm about to fall, I adjust my foot. I feel off balance, I adjust my heel so my foot becomes centered and strong. There you go, nice and easy. There you go, and just rock it out, nice and simple. Okay, we're moving on to getting up off the ground. Now, for some of you, this may be a little extreme, and I want you to you know, go through as much as you can, but stop when you feel that you've gone far enough. We're gonna grow this up and develop the strength. Or, if you don't feel ready to try this yet, do just the first part um, before we go to the ground, but I want you to get a system in your mind so that if you do fall, this is how I can safely get back up again. I'm gonna show you how to do it today, without using the poles too. So grab your mat. If you're on the carpet, you can use the carpet. I'm gonna take my mat 
and I'm going to slide it underneath the board. Now, I will turn the board around in a little while so that you can see what I'm doing. But to begin with, I'm just going to lift this up. And now my board is on the mat, so the mat won't slide out from underneath me. Okay, good. So, hopefully you're all there. I'm going to put my hands on here. We're going to do the first exercise. In fact, put them on the top. I bend my knees a little bit. Now slide your hands down the pole. Bend your knees a little bit more. I slide my hands down. Now take one foot behind you, so it's on the ground, and slowly bend your knees till one touches the ground. Good. Now, I spoke to my mum the other day and she said she had a hard time getting up from this position because she didn't have the strength. So while you're here, let me explain and show you how this works. I'm going to try and do it uh, on the board so that you can see what's happening. When I'm in this position, right, look at my back foot here. My back foot isn't flat. I tuck the toe under until the toe is on the ground. So even if I got to lift a little bit in here, now you can see, and this is a way to practice, have that toe tucked under. Now, from there, I want you to think of pushing forward and up off of the back foot, and at the same time, you're holding onto the poles. So in here, you're gonna push forward onto your front leg and push up, so the back foot has to work. Watch, I'm in here, I push the back foot and I put the pressure on the front, and I'm up. Good, so come, push up, and we're gonna start here again. Good, so hands are on. We go, butt goes out, I go into a little squat. I slide my hands down, but I'm strong. Hold on tight. Take one foot and place it back so your foot is on the ground here, right? Now, go down until that knee touches the ground. Now, push off the back toe, the back foot with the toe tucked under, and push onto the front leg, but use your poles to push so everything works together. My back leg is pushing my front leg is pushing and my arms are pulling myself up. Good, let's try it again. Standing here, go into a squat, drop your hands. Take one foot back. Now go down until you feel your knee on the ground. Now we're gonna advance this. Take the other foot and move it back as well. Now if you look from the side, what I want you to do is put both feet flat. So I'm here, I'm not tucked under, I'm here flat on the ground. Now from there, what I want you to do is put your hands on the board. So now you're almost in a fully um, on the ground position. Now from there, what I want you to do is put your hands to here. It's that simple. Now put your hands down again, bring them back to here. If you have a hard time, you can go one hand at a time until you're upright in this position. Let's try it one more time. I can walk my way down, so I'm here. I'm gonna take my hands, walk them up. Now, bring one foot to the front and put it flat. The back foot, tuck the toe under. The way to do that, you can put some, some forward motion onto the front leg, tuck that toe under. Now, from here, push at the back toe, push on the front leg. So the back foot is gonna push you forward, the front leg is gonna push you up and your arms are gonna pull you. So I'm here, I pull, and I'm back up on two feet. How's that doing for you today? Good, just shake those legs out. We've got one more piece that I'm gonna finish the puzzle today. And then from there, I'll probably have to turn the board sideways so you can see. But then we can work on different strengthening movements each week so that getting down and getting up off of the ground, because you could go down to play with your grandkids. You may want to go down and crawl on the ground with them and, and see what they see from their perspective. So again, it's not about just recovering from a fall, it's freedom of movement. Okay, so we're gonna go down, butt goes out, slide your hands, take the back foot with the toe tucked under, slowly let yourself down onto the ground, take the other knee, walk your hands down till you're on the board, now, what I want you to do here, and I'm gonna see if I can turn this slightly sideways. See if this will help, hopefully you can see from here. So I'm in this position. What I want you to do now, put your elbows on the board, slide one leg back, then slide the other leg back, and now you're here. Now, from here, what I want you to do 
is push up with your elbows and bring one knee forward. Let me show you that again. You're here, slide one knee forward. Then what you're gonna do is bring the other knee to it, but tuck the toe under the back. Now step up, we're in this position. Look, this is where we were before. I'm on my arms. Now take one leg and put it in front of you. Back toe is tucked under. I move my hands. And now from here, I push back. With the back leg, I push forward as if I'm going diagonally up. And the front leg, I push. And now I'm back up from a down position to a standing position. Okay, if you've got up already, then um, just stay there because I want to show you another way that you can get up. So if I'm down here, I'm going to get down to this position. And this is how you can get up without a, uh, a balanced board either. So again, I, I push on my elbows, I bring one knee forward, I bring the other knee forward. Now I bring my one leg up. Now from here, if I didn't have the poles, the way to get up is I still wanna push on that back foot, but now I put my hands on my knee that's here and I'm gonna use the same effort of my upper body to push myself back up. Is it easy to do? No, it's not easy to do, but it's critical because it's gonna help save if you're in a bad situation where you don't know how to get up, this system will help you learn and give you the confidence to recover. Let me show you one more time. And, and if you want to, join in with me and use the poles or use your hand, whichever you feel. So slide the hands, bend the knees, go down here, good. Take one foot back, drop to one knee, go to the second knee, walk your hands down, now take one leg back, bend the elbows, take the other leg back. Now we're flat on the ground. I push up with my elbows, I bring one knee forward. I bring the other knee and I tuck my toe under the back. Now I come up, I hold the poles, I bring one knee to the front. And again, if I wanna push up, I can push here or I can hold the poles. I push and I'm back up. And that is a very simple system that is uh, so simple to help. When you've got a plan, you can achieve it. When you don't have a plan, you're so busy trying to figure one out, you lose your energy to be able to push to get back up again. So again, I'm gonna turn the board around, back this way. There you go. All I want you to do now, because we've already done enough today, is just go back into a very slight knee bend. Just in here, very small. Good, just again, continuing to develop the flexibility in the knees, the strength of the quads pushing up, small movements, and now come back up. Good, I'm gonna remove the mat from underneath the board because I wanna make sure that um, I don't uh, step on this as we go down to the cool down. Now you'll notice I'm sweating. It's not an easy workout and working to get up and off of the ground is work. Again, it's like anything. If you don't practice it, you won't be able to do it. Or the more you practice it, the better you become at doing what you need to do. Now to finish up, just step side to side in here. There you go. Now people could turn around and say, well, what happens if I don't have poles? What happens if I don't have, you know, I'm out in the street and I fall off of the sidewalk, I fall off the curb. Well, it's the same thing. Instead of the board, you can put your elbows on the curb. Now you have a system. My elbows are on the curb. I now bring one knee forward. I bring the other knee forward. Even if you've got broken wrists, you can use your elbows. Right now, I can put up the one knee. I then put up the second knee. Now the next part, if you've developed the strength, you'll learn to push with one leg up and one leg forward and together they work to get you up. If you can, the system we use where you're in this position here and you've got up, now you're up, you can even put your, if you've broken your wrist, you can put your forearms in and still use that as a way to help push up. So again, this is all about caring about you and your safety to give you the freedom and not worry if I fall, how do I get up? which then again goes back to the fear, I'm gonna to have to stay, you know, I'm waiting for someone to help me, 
when and if they do that's a beautiful thing help is is incredible but at the same time you want to have a plan so that you your own power you don't go in fear of what might happen you go knowing that if something happens you're prepared okay what i want you to do just a little tap on the board again go back to the basics we bring the heart rate down great class today really enjoyed it um i love simple they, you know, I've always found, I have a saying on my desk that just says, keep it simple. The simpler it is, the less we confuse ourselves as to trying to be more than we need to be. But the better you are at simplicity, the more we can venture out and create some new challenges that are about self-accomplishment and not just about finding out what you can't do. But knowing with a base foundation, there's so much you can do. Good, there you go, good. Now just a little side step, side tap, bringing that heart rate down. There you go, good. Now come and stand in that solid position, two and two. Feel solid on the ground, just shake your arms out. We've been doing a little bit of work. What I want you to do is just bend your right elbow and just pull it in, touch your shoulder. Take your left, pull it in, touch your shoulder. And again, right, bring it across, touch your shoulder. Left, bring it across, touch your shoulder. There you go, good. And just shake it out. Now the head, tilt it forward. Bring it up, tilt it to the right. Bring it to the center, take it to the left. Come to the center, take it forward. Bring it to the center. Now watch this just for one second. Before you do it, you're gonna drop. And you're going to roll, drop, and roll. Good. Come and join me. Drop, roll, drop, roll, drop. If you feel a little dizzy on this one, if you have vertigo, hold on to the poles or just make it a smaller movement. Even if it's just this much, let's get those muscles working. There you go. Good. And come back to the middle. Now, just roll those shoulders back. If you want to let go, you can. Should feel really strong, really centered on the ground and know that you're getting better. Because like we said, roll them forward. If you don't practice it, it won't get better. Go, just lift the shoulders up and drop them. There you go. Last one we're gonna do, take the board, push it to the right. Put the board of your right foot on the board and put your heel on the ground and just push forward and feel that stretch in the calf. I've got one more exercise I want to do actually, sorry. Or one more cool down. This is for John again. Good, step back, push the board to the side. Ball of the foot, left foot on the board. The heel on the ground, just push forward. There you go, good. Sometimes stretching feels so good. You find that peace. And every time you breathe out, allow that muscle to relax, allow your body to relax. And you'll feel the stretch will actually increase without any, any extra pain or push. Good, step back. Last one, keep your toe on the ground and just roll your knee out. Again, going back to the loosening of the ankles. Good, and roll it back from the outside. Your knee goes to the outside, just roll it in. Try and keep that foot, ball of the foot on the ground and change legs, we go inside to out, try and keep the ball of the foot on the ground, you'll feel your toes are loosening up too, and go from the outside to in. There you go. Good, and there you have it, I'm gonna grab my water and come back in. Great workout today, you can see look, how much I'm sweating in here. That wasn't easy, so if you got through the workout or even if you got through some of it, congratulations, because again, it's not made to be easy. And when I say, that's what we call it, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, not easy, harder, and hardest. This is all about keeping it simple, but going back to the basics. It's like when I coach soccer, the kids, I'll always warm up with just the simplicity of touching the ball, the simplicity of foot movements. And that's why we always got to go back to the basics. You'll, we'll preach it. Everyone's always talking about going back to the basics. This is going back to the basics. So uh, just really quick. Hi, Kim. Simon. Simon Tully, all the way from England. He's like a brother from another mother for me. Great guy. 
Um, and his dad was like a stepdad to me as well. So uh, loved you over in England. Uh, Brian Haley, I don't know if you're still there, but Brian and I worked together uh, quite a while ago and a great guy, an educator, and uh, helps change people's lives as well. So with that being said, have a great rest of the day. Watch out for Friday's um, class and the motivation in the class as well. I'll be talking a little bit about Starlight Express and a message that helped change my life and give me the freedom from something that was said to me to understand my life is mine to own and that I can do anything I want to. So again, have a beautiful day. Thanks so much for being here. And I wish you guys the best week ahead. Stay hydrated. And I'll see you on Thursday, 9 o'clock, Intermediate Workout. We'll have the shorter bands, so make sure you have the shorter bands available. And uh, we're going to keep working for your success. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.